The high power is the latest creation of genius gunsmith John Moses Browning. The pistol was created under the technical assignment of the French army, but was not adopted for service in France. During the creation of high power, all patents for the successful M1911 model were sold by Browning, so he had to invent almost from scratch. The number of modifications released from that time to this day is very large, in this video we will look at one of them. The standard version of the pistol uses the 9x19 caliber, but different versions may have different calibers. The name of the high-power pistol actually reflects the large magazine capacity of 13 rounds, which was a large capacity at the time. It was the first pistol in which the design solution of a double-row magazine is used. The magazine has a single-row exit, which increases the reliability of the feed. The magazine is held by a latch located in the handle. There are two springs in the handle, a mainspring with a hammer strut and a leaf spring that springs the sear. Standard high powers are based on a single action design. When the trigger is pulled, it raises the sear lever up. The sear lever presses on the sear from above. Under pressure, the sear goes down and, when it reaches a critical point, pulls the hammer. After releasing the hammer, under the influence of the mainspring, it hits the firing pin and a shot occurs. The high power, like many other Browning designs, operates on the short recoil principle, where the barrel and slide initially recoil together until the barrel is unlocked from the slide by a cam arrangement. Unlike Browning's earlier M1911 pistol, the barrel is not moved vertically by a toggling link, but instead by a hardened bar which crosses the frame under the barrel and contacts a slot under the chamber, at the rearmost part of the barrel. After the slide reaches the limit of its travel, the recoil spring brings it forward again, stripping a new round from the magazine and pushing it into the chamber. This also pushes the chamber and barrel forward. The cam slot and bar move the chamber upward and the locking lugs on the barrel re-engage those in the slide. The early version had an internal extractor located in the inner hole of the slide. Since 1962, the pistol has received an external extractor, which simplifies production and reduces its cost. The ejector is a separate piece that is fixed to the frame. When set to a manual safety catch, it blocks the sear and slide. Due to the fact that the sear lever is located in the slide, the firing mechanism will not work when the slide is not fully closed, which is an automatic safety device. The pistol is equipped with an automatic magazine safety that blocks the trigger mechanism when there is no magazine in the pistol. When all cartridges in the magazine are used up, the magazine follower supports slide stop lever and the slide is held back. The standard version is equipped with a front sight and rear sight, which is adjustable only in the horizontal plane. At the end of this video, I would like to tell an interesting story about the creation of this pistol. John Browning was known as a dedicated and tireless innovator and experimenter who sought breakthrough consumer-oriented features and performance and reliability improvements in small arms designs. He did not retire in his later years but dedicated his entire adult life, literally to his last day, to these pursuits. On November 26, 1926, while working at the bench on a self-loading pistol design for Fabrique Nationale, he died of heart failure in the design shop of his son.
Even the 9mm semi-automatic pistol he was working on when he died had great design merit and was eventually completed in 1935 by Belgian designer Dudonne Sive. Released as the Fabric National GP35, it was more popularly known as the successful Browning High Power Pistol, a favorite of sportsmen and gun collectors as well as many military and law enforcement agencies around the world. In the video, I used footage from the game World of Guns, you can find this game on Steam, Google Play or the App Store. Thank you for watching, if you like the video and want to help the channel, then just subscribe and like it.